Hi Aries, welcome to your general forecast for March. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Welcome Aries, hope everybody's doing well. Aries, we're going to take a look at the energy around you at this time. We're going to take whatever comes out, could be general, could be love, could be about anything. So please only take what resonates, throw away the rest. If it's not fitting for you, then it's not your story. Please don't try to make it fit. And it could be past, present, or future. It's for sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female. And we'll see what's going on for you at this time, Aries. So let's see what we get for Aries at this time. I do say at this time, I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go and watch past readings, links are below in the description box for your love and general playlist, along with the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. If you'd like to tip, donate, or send a gift, all that info was in the description box, along with the pinned top comment. Um, and if you're not comfortable using PayPal, if you would like to tip or donate, if you watch this during the premiere, only during the premiere, Super Chat is open. So if you'd like to send um, an energy exchange or a tip donation in that way, please feel free. And if you do, thank you. All right, Erie. So this is a, okay, we got one already, but I wasn't really ready. But I'll show you what it is. So we have Taurus, but I wasn't ready. So I don't know if that means anything to anybody. So... Let's see what we have for Aries, the Zodiac Oracle, get a sign, element, or planet. Let's see what comes out for you. Okay, there we go. Virgo. And I just got Virgo for Libra. So some of you could be dealing with a Virgo uh, in some way, shape, or form. If not, totally fine. Maybe you have Virgo in your chart, or maybe somebody has heavy Virgo in their chart. <clears throat> or it could just be the energy of Virgo in the tarot, represents the hermit. It's about going on a deep uh, soul journey mission and doing deep introspection, healing kind of energy. If that means anything to anybody. All right, so what I'm going to do now here, Aries, is I'm going to pull one card for an opening message for you. And then I'll pull another card, which will be um, kind of like your energy. And then we will clarify that energy with the tarot here. And then we'll look at the situation, whatever comes out, advice, possible outcome, whatever comes out for you. And then we'll get some extra messages at the end with that tarot uh, oracle deck over there. So Aries, let's see what your opening message is, Aries. And I'll probably read a little bit from the book um, on these cards. But if you're not interested in that, you can kind of skip ahead a little bit. Or you can speed up the reading and the settings up to twice as fast. So if you want to want me to sound like Minnie Mouse or whatever, then that's fine. All right, so Aries, making a choice. It's your opening message, three, 30 is three. So you may have a choice between three things or two things. Three is about teamwork, collaboration, um, people coming together. But there's something about being maybe at a crossroads and needing to make a choice about something is your opening message. So if you've been hesitating or reluctant to make a choice, remember this can be past, present, or future, then this is telling you it's time to make a choice of some kind. So let's see what comes out for you. Let's see what your energy is like. Oh, we got flying. Flying, which is number 20, which is two, which is about unity, partnerships, it could be some of you had two people. Now you're making a choice. And now two is about two. So you're going from three to two. If that's for some of you. But you're flying high. Flying high. So let me see what... Um, I mean, making a choice is pretty obvious. I don't really feel like I have to um, <clears throat> read that. But there is just a little quotation that I might just... Uh, read that for you you're required to come to a decision now okay so let's see what flying has to say for you you have the power to see things from a higher perspective if you were a bird flying high in the air what would you see when you soar above life's challenges and opportunities a new perspective becomes available Today you have invisible wings that allow you to allow you to swiftly bring your circumstances into alignment with your highest purpose. This is a sign that your waiting is over 
that all your hard work has paid off and the things you hope for are no longer beyond your scope. You have the ability to reach for the stars and find one with your name on it. Spread your wings and soar. The angels are waiting for you. So that is, uh, <clears throat> you know, seeing, gaining a higher perspective, enlightenment, and no longer feeling confused. Now able to make a choice. May not be about love. It could be about anything. <clears throat> Maybe some of you uh, been travel. You know, could be traveling with the flying here, making a choice to move or something like that. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have here protecting treasure, which is thirty nine, which is twelve, which is three. So we have three again here, which is about teamwork, collaboration, people working together. Protecting treasure. So let's see number 39, what that has to say for you. You are always protected and divinely directed. Although this is a time of great risk, know that at a fundamental level, you are able to move forward safely and securely. The proverbial nest egg is safe and sound, no matter the fluctuations in the world. Guardian angels and other guides are whispering to you, making you aware of their protective presence. Your loyalty is an important theme now. Nurture that which you hold dear. This is a good time to strengthen bonds of friendship and ensure their integrity. So we do have three here twice, which can be about people coming together and again, strengthen those bonds of friendship, family, and that kind of energy. If you feel tested right now, know that a true and loyal heart always achieves its aim. Take refuge under an angel's wing. You are not alone and have no, no need to fear. Embrace your courage. So this is knowing that you're always protected, divinely guided. You have, you know, trustable people, people and places and things around you that can also help protect you <clears throat> and, you know, protecting yourself also. And what you have, your values. So let's see what all this energy is about. So making a choice. So I feel like you finally gained perspective. You know, kind of, you know, went above and seen it from all angles. Made a perspective, made a choice to do something here to protect yourself, your, your friends, your family, or something like that. So we're going to see what all this energy is uh, for some of you. Some of you may have even moved. Maybe you felt like it was in your best interest between you and your family to actually move. Maybe out of a bad neighborhood or maybe there was a circumstance around you that um, wasn't for your best interest anymore. And you felt like it was the best thing to do to uh, move for some of you. All right, so let's see what's going on here. I just want to say uh, thank you to all my new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal reading, those who have tipped, donated, or sent a gift. All your support really does mean a lot to me, so thank you, thank you. And in honor of just reaching 10,000 subs a few weeks ago, <clears throat> I am having a giveaway where you have a chance to win a tarot deck along with a free 20-minute reading of your choice by me. So if you're interested in entering that, Look in the description box, all the top pinned comment on how to enter. All the details are there. It will be open through March, and then I'll close it April 1st, and then I'll pick a winner. So if you do, thank you, and good luck. All right, Aries. What is all this energy about for Aries spirit, please? Thank you so much. Why is flying making a choice? For Aries, please, spirit, thank you so much. Oh, okay. So we have the Ten of Pentacles. So that is your family dynamic. That is your stability. That is your long-term stability. And then we have the Three of Wands. This is about patiently waiting for the ship to come in or waiting on something. So maybe there was a choice here to con consciously, for some of you, either move or uh, it could be moving to a different state, moving to a different city, or maybe to a different I don't know, house or apartment or something here. Maybe there's a period of waiting for some reason, like you, you couldn't do it right away. Um, but you had faith, hope, optimism. You wished upon a star here with a shooting star that this was going to happen for you. 
but you found a way you you looked at every little detail you did everything you could with that flying above and seeing every little aspect of everything you found a way to protect your family dynamic here your ten of pentacles because we have protecting treasure which is this ten of pentacles making a choice to do that might have been a little bit of waiting involved but you you kept you know positive faith hope optimism that this was going to happen for you your family all right so let's get a few more cards here for this energy for aries spirit please so there's the hermit so there's a hermit <clears throat> clarifying that virgo could be just the hermit for you you know do, doing that deep soul searching work and realizing okay the best thing to do in my situation to protect me my family or whatever here is to actually I think for some of you move because I'm getting flying some of you m might have gotten on a plane and flew and moved to like a whole different um, state maybe or even overseas for some of you maybe even just out to the country so I'm getting this maze here so maybe you like moved out to farm country or something like that maybe you got out of city life all right, so, because I'm seeing, like, I just looked at this print here, and it reminded me of graffiti for some reason. Okay, so the chariot, yeah, getting in your car or plane or whatever here and driving and leaving a situation here and going forward, and now we have the sunflowers. So some of you definitely, I feel like, moved to, like, farm country um, or just the country or something like that. Maybe you didn't move out of state. Maybe some have, whatever here. May, I feel like some of you um, were like, I don't know what I want to say now, like uh, in a very bad area because I'm seeing that graffiti. And this is kind of reminding me of like like smoke, uh, smoke and like fog and, you know, that kind of energy. So, yeah, I feel like now you're going where it's bright and clear you can actually see the stars, the moon, <clears throat> going forward, a lot of drive, ambition, balance to victory. Yeah, so, and there's your wishing your dream come true with the Nine of Cups. That's just reiterating what I said there with the Three of Wands. So Spirit maybe said, made me say that for a reason. With the shooting star there, I felt that immediately wishing upon a star, hoping for your wish and your dream to come true. And it did, and you see now this family out in the country enjoying a picnic there's ladybugs and you know maybe you know you're not used to bugs and stuff but <laughs> but now you know it's a happy home and family um it's peaceful it's quiet it's relaxing no more smog no more graffiti no more you know i'm getting like um i don't want to say like the ghetto or the hood but you know that's what i'm getting like a really bad, bad, like, place. Now it's like you're sitting in your wish and your dream come true. <clears throat> Out in the country, enjoying the quiet life. No more smog, gra graffiti, um, crying. Okay, that one wanted to jump, but it didn't. So what else? Let's get one more. Three of Swords. Yeah, so there might have been a lot of pain i'm getting like the crime like the three of swords like a lot of criminal activity or maybe around where you lived it was very scary it's like a lot of dark energy <clears throat> maybe like people always like like lurking and watching everybody and like looking waiting for like the next victim kind of energy Ugh. not getting a good energy with that at all so yeah that's pain and heartbreak kind of energy also Wow. But, you know, finally put down that sword of truth here and we got the sun behind it. So amidst all this dark gray, smoggy energy is the sun. Now you are where the sun shines bright. That sunflower there. Wow. Okay. It's a different kind of reading. So this may not be for everybody. So, you know, I mean, you can dislike it because you think it's not for you. Well, then it's for somebody. So if it's not resonating, it's not your message. Just leave. Don't like, un don't thumbs down it I mean that doesn't make sense to me but all right so we have the knight of pentacles this is your actual situation so the queen of cups 
the Ten of Wands is right in the middle of your spread. So, yeah, definitely here. I feel like the Ten of Wands, you laid down these heavy burdens, no longer serving you. You followed your path, your way, your light with that Virgo Hermit energy. And now you have, like, your little dwelling there sitting on top of this little hillside. And the flying there was about going a high up and getting gaining the perspective. And now look at this little house here is, like, up on the top of the hill where you could see everything out in the country. Wow. The Queen of Cups energy. So... Uh, that's a very loving, nurturing, caring, giving kind of energy. Now feeling more peaceful, harmonious, happy, in a higher vibration. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles. So this is moving forward, you know, slow, stable. You know, it might have been because you had to wait over here. So, you know, it might have been a slow process. Maybe you had to save money um, kind of energy. But being smart, practical, you know, wise. And moving forward, uh, calculating every step along the way to your stability. Wow. Okay. So what else is your actual situation here for you, Aries? Aries. Aries. The sun. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you are now where the sun shines. No more smog and crime and violence and graffiti and all that energy. Now you're you're out in the nature with the animals, where the animals live, um, farm. I'm getting farm country or just like out in the country. <clears throat> but this is total happiness and joy. The sun is the most positive card in the deck. So success, victory, healing, balance, um, enlightenment, victory, happy home and family kind of energy. So everything positive with the sun. So you came out of the Ten of Burdens. Followed your path to the sun. Seven of Swords. Yeah, you just had to get out of that situation you were in. That's like, can be about lies, deceit, negative energy. Or this can be like just getting out of something and sneaking away. Or just getting out. <coughs> just, you have to do it and you just got to do it. So, I feel like your energy is just getting out of that. No matter how you had to do it, that's what you were doing. I mean, we do see three people on this card, but I'm not really getting any of that energy, like third-party energy, blah, blah, blah. I'm just getting seven of swords. On the regular right or wait, you see this man with the swords, and he's kind of sneaking away. I feel like you just had to get out, no matter how you do it. Did it out of that situation, and I feel like you did. So, or you're about to, or you're in the plans of doing so. So, however it resonates for you. So let's see what your advice is for you, Aries. Advice for you, Aries. <clears throat> advice for you, Aries. Four swords. So there's that healing, thinking, contemplating, rejuvenating, retreating. Retreating, yeah. You're retreating out of that, wherever you were, retreating and leaving that behind. Like you're looking back, like, bye bye You know? So, <clears throat> what else for the advice for Aries? Two of Pentacles. So maybe, you know, there's a lot of, you know, financial um, balancing of the finances, that kind of energy, you know, juggling, balancing things around to try to make this work, make this happen kind of energy. Eight of Wands. So there's that fast action travel communication. So this is your is your advice is to you know take swift action you know balancing everything and retreating death yeah letting the situation end that is no longer serving you and healing and transforming out of that energy like to a whole new life where you don't have to keep an eye on like everything around you your money, your finances, your children, make sure they don't get kidnapped or, you know, someone doesn't try to steal your purse or whatever here. <clears throat> yeah, you're letting that situation die, transforming and starting a new life. Looking back, saying bye. So that's your advice. Is let it go, let it die, let it end. Move forward. Balance things out and retreating out of that situation so let's see what the possible outcome is for you 
So we have the Empress. So this is knowing your value, your worth. This is the birth of something new, a whole new life, a new way of living. Um, it's nurturing, giving, giving, caring kind of energy. Truth, clarity. It embodies like energy of like all of the kings, queens, emperor, empress, doesn't matter. But we have the Wheel of Fortune. So things going in a better direction. Divinely guided energy, divine timing. This, like I said, this could have took time. Um, but things going in a better direction. The wheel turning in your favor. The sun is shining. Again, we have the sun here. All these flowers. The pentacle in the middle. And um, I, thought, I thought we had the ace of pentacles. I guess not. But your ten of pentacles up here. So. All right. So. I mean, this could have took you a year to plan this out. We have all four seasons on this card. This could have been like a year in the planning for some of you. All right, so one more for your outcome for Aquarius. Judgment. So yeah, making a final decision, judgment call about this review, life review, situation review, whatever here. And then finally making that judgment call, final decision on this, which gets this wheel turning and puts you in a much more stable, grounded you and your family energy and birth of something new, new way of living in life. Like seeing the light and making that judgment call that this is the best thing for you to make this choice to protect you, your family, your future. Wow, Aries. All right, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So now we have the Queen of Wands, so fiery, passionate energy. Go get our energy going after this, so let drive ambition kind of energy. And now we have the King and Queen of Wands. So you could definitely be with a soulmate here. This is your energy. Um, your person doesn't have to be a fire sign, but this is just saying that you definitely could be with your soulmate here. Definitely working hard on this, making these changes. Justice will come into your life. Justice will prevail. Five of Wands. So yeah, I feel like a very, um, again, with the violence and crime and conflict, kind of energy around around you but now moving out of that energy again with uh peace harmony moving forward with peace harmony love compassion and here's the ace of swords divine energy saying truth clarity successful new beginning here uh cutting away things no longer serving you telling it like it is not taking any bs epiphany aha moments here it's been a long hard battle and fight here with the nine of wands but now, again, and I felt like you were a soulmate, so now we have the lovers. So making these choices and decisions that are totally aligned with you and your family and with your soulmate. So we have the devil. So ending and ten of swords, ending that toxic energy around you. And then jumping right in, resetting at zero, zero, jumping in, taking a leap of faith, a whole new life. So let's see here. We have Aquarius. We have Capricorn, we have Gemini, let's see, we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, we have like all the signs here, Libra, <clears throat> we have Leo, Aries, Sag, which is your energy, <clears throat> let's see, we have Cancer, we have Virgo, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, uh, Scorpio, Libra, Taurus, Sagittarius, and Scorpio. So, I mean, we have a lot of signs here. So, however that resonates for you. So, let's see. Let's get some extra messages from you for you from this deck, Aries. And I do ask Aries, especially if you're new, you like my energy, my style, and how I read. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Uh, hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings. You'll get five readings a month. You get two love, two general, a bonus. Or if you'd like to check out my channel first, then please feel free. And if you do, thank you. So let's get some extra messages for Aries. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Extra messages for Aries on this situation for Aries. Drop it. Three. Three is about teamwork collaboration. I feel like, you know, maybe you tried and you tried to make it work. Whatever your situation here was, I'm feeling like a change of home or way of living or something. Maybe you tried and tried to make it work, 
you know, wherever, wherever you were. And again, with the traveling here, traveling. So I definitely feel like some of you are traveling. So I feel, feel like you just decided to drop it. Like it's just not working here. You need to just drop it, let it go and move on. All right. So extra messages here for Aries. Aries. Fill the well, which is 25, which is seven. So seven is about being uh, divinely guided, spiritual number. So fill the well is about giving back, um, you know, taking, receiving, giving, equal reciprocity. And it's also, you know, filling your own well because you can't fill, you can't fill others' wells if you can't, if yours is empty. So that kind of energy also. So that's sharing kind of energy. So if that means anything to anybody, I'm getting again with the country life there. So, <laughs> wow. Okay. So say thank you. 44, which is about stability foundation. So thanking the universe for these blessings, this, you know, however you had to manage this, whatever bless blessings, wishes were granted came into you. Thanking the universe, thanking whoever on your blessings. And we have say yes, 35, which is eight, travel, action, communication. So this is saying yes to this change and talk to God, but I'm getting, and I almost said, thank God. So again, thanking the universe here, 11, being spiritually led into the right direction on the right path, especially with the wheel there. And thanking and talking, praying, meditating, whatever you do, whoever you pray to, whoever you talk to, whatever here, and saying thank you, saying yes to this change, giving back or equal exchange or fill the well, and just dropping it, letting things end so you can have a new life here, Aries. Wow, Aries. Well, best of luck to you, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.